How about this beautiful airplane? <laughs> SA-2 takes the best of an airplane, a safe, smooth, in-flight experience, and merges it with the best of a helicopter. Convenience and the ability to take off and land vertically, even in dense urban environments, is truly the best of both worlds. And it's all powered by a battery, comfortable, convenient, and clean. There is so much in this stunning aircraft. To tell you more about the making of SA-2, please welcome Supernova's Chief Technology Officer, Ben Dyerton. Hi, everybody. It's great to be here at CES. To introduce you for the first time to the vehicle that will revolutionize mobility. A vehicle designed to take full advantage of emerging electric powertrain advancements that will define the next generation of aviation. As Jay Wan mentioned, what you see on stage is the result of the termination and hard work by our world-class team at Supernal. Getting to this point took lots of planning, studying, refinement. We started with a creative ideation phase. Our team initially came up with more than 100 different vehicle shapes. From there, with methodical engineering discipline, we narrowed it down to just one. This vehicle in front of you, our product concept. SA2 is a four-passenger, piloted, V-tail, eight-rotor, battery electric vehicle. In flight, it will cruise at 120 miles per hour at 1,500 feet. Initial trips will be between 25 and 40 miles. It's designed to be quiet, operating at 65 decibels when taking off and landing, and 45 decibels when in cruise. That's as quiet as a modern dishwasher. CSA2's eight rotors, four front, four back, all working together all the time in all phases of flight. Vertical takeoff, horizontal cruise, and vertical landing. No unnecessary complexity, the optimal balance between efficiency and redundancy. Each of, eight of the eight rotors tilt for the best possible performance in all phases of flight. For takeoff and landing, the rotors in front tilt up. The rotors in back tilt down, achieving maximum lift during this power-intensive vertical flight phase. To achieve maximum efficiency in cruise, all eight rotors are powered and tilt in the direction of flight. This makes SA2 economical for operators and comfortable for passengers. To guide our development of SA2, we stuck to four key principles. It must be safe, sustainable, scalable, and customer-centric. Let's talk about each one. Starting with safety. For AAM to continue to grow, safety is non-negotiable. No compromises, no corners cut. As we develop this vehicle and make plans for others in the future, our primary focus is on the safety of passengers and the public. SA-2 is designed to meet commercial aviation safety standards, the standard for the safest form of transportation in the world. Safety means a robust airframe structure, redundant components and critical systems, including powertrain, flight controls, avionics, and lots of design assurance testing. These make for a safe vehicle. In order to achieve this safety standard, we are also working with top-tier aviation partners, companies with proven experience to enhance safety in all facets of our vehicle. Additionally, 
our vehicle is equipped for operations in good and bad weather, day and night. Not only are we building safety features into the vehicle, we are also working with government regulators and industry partners to help evolve the airspace management industry system for this industry. Our CES control room behind you, you can experience Supernal's Vertiport. It features some of the partners helping us create safe operations in this emerging mobility sector. Please come back later this week and check it out. The second principle that guides our work, it has to run clean and quiet. Any AAM vehicle from Supernal will leverage state-of-the-art battery technology to help us travel cleaner and more efficiently than we do today. Doing this poses some unique challenges. Getting an aircraft to lift off vertically without a runway requires significant power. The power consumed by an EV toll vertical takeoff before it transitions, it's similar to the power that's required to make a car go from zero to 60 in two seconds, yet it has to sustain this power level for 30 seconds. An AM powertrain system must be incredibly lightweight. Batteries for EV toll vehicles need to be a balance of safety, volume, weight, power, charge time, and cost effectiveness. With Supernal's advanced battery system development team in California and the support from Hyundai and Kia R&D Center and Hyundai Mobis, we will have the battery system fully capable of addressing these challenges when we're ready to start commercial flights in 2028. Battery technology will continue to improve in the coming years. Just look at what happens with the auto market. The batteries powering today's electric cars, they're improving quickly. Greater capability, expanded range, shorter charge times. The same thing will happen in AAM. To capitalize on this progress, Supernal's vehicle is designed with upgradability in mind. This will enable our operators to take advantage of the latest, most sustainable, and most modern battery technology. Now, as we approach EV tolls, building them, manufacturing them, we have to think about building our vehicle cost effectively while maintaining the highest quality. We also must be able to deliver tens of thousands of these vehicles when the market scales up to meet the demands and make everyday air travel affordable. Supernal's vehicle will be built by fully leveraging Hyundai's mass production capability, maintaining superior build quality, also while being cost effective. This unique advantage will bring down the barrier to entry for operators and everyone will benefit from this technology. The final principle guiding everything that we do centers around passenger comfort. Inside Supernal, we talk about bringing the best in-car passenger experience to the sky. Our engineers are working hand in hand with Hyundai Motor Group's top designers to create a passenger experience that rivals the best in automotive. Because we believe what's inside the vehicle needs to be just as elegant as the engineering behind it. To tell you more about our cabin and customer experience, please welcome Hyundai Motor Group's Chief Creative Officer, Luke Donkervake. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Fasten seat belts. Now you realize why I enjoy so much my journey in the Hyundai Motor Group. For more than 10 years, 30 years, sorry, <laughs> I have dedicated my career to designing cars, mostly inspired by aeronautics, like the variable intakes of an Italian super sports car, to name only one example. It somehow feels today like a natural progression to close the circle by designing an aircraft, using the experience acquired in the automotive field. I still remember three years ago, 
the exact day when I announced to three of my talented design studios in Korea, California, and Germany that they would be competing on the next project. For once, very small wheels and wings. They were quite surprised, and they accepted the mission. Our work was about to take flight, shifting our focus from the road to the sky, alongside highly motivated supernal engineers. We embarked on an iterative process, applying the same principles we use to design passenger cars. Distilling more than 100 designs into just one, the SA2. No styling was done before defining the user experience. This vehicle was built, purpose built around the passenger. The efficient merging of user experience, aerodynamics, ergonomics, performance, and aesthetics, good, I have five fingers, define Supernal's design identity, kinetic purism. The dynamic integrations of the external sections from the wings and landing gear to the cabin and the fluid fuselage to the V-tail echoing Supernal's logo materialize the SA2 proportions. The window graphic, in automotive terms, DLO for daylight opening, is inspired by the hexagonal structure of the eyes of a bee. Our cabin's human-centric design maximizes the passenger experience. SA2's door includes butterfly hinges to give better access to the pilot and the passenger doors, guiding travelers inside, protecting them away from the rotors. The consistent use of the light and the translucent materials give the cabin a more spacious feel, with lighting blending into solid surfaces, while acting as a buffer between spaces. When you enter, light radiates its inward, welcoming you aboard. When you leave, it reflects outward. In flight, lighting through the cabin adjusts to changing temperatures, creating a calming, yet comforting ambience for the passengers. Now, let's talk about the interior layout, which is split into two different sections, the passenger cabin and the flight deck, clearly delineated by two distinct color palettes. The generative design seats are ergonomically contoured. They're lightweight, elegant, comfortable, and last but not least, engineered to absorb the vertical energy. Like its automotive cousin, the passenger area in SA2 has center consoles, providing storage for extra convenience, charging a device, storing a personal item, storing your phone in the sliding armrest. SA2 has all the modern conveniences you've come to expect in a premium cabin. The interior layout is designed with modularity in mind, with the ability to change seating from four to two, or remove them altogether, all based on user needs. It's simple. Future operators will be able to change, to change seating layouts between flights for total flexibility. Ladies and gentlemen, what you see here today is the beginning of an exciting future for advanced air mobility. It is inspired by kinetic purism and human-centric design. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much, and enjoy the rest of the CS show.